So welcome to another FIFA 22 player review and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the 88 rated Raheem Sterling, another player that was able to pack early on in uh, FIFA 22 which I'm very happy about. So I thought we'd take a look at him, 5 games, 0 goals and 3 assists, 4 of those were completed matches, one person uh, decided uh, they didn't want to play against my team so just left straight away so uh, so bad luck to that guy but um but yeah no Raheem I think he was a good card to be able to use I think a lot of people will see in this review okay well he didn't score any goals is that going to be a concern with his cards and the answer is no I mean these were still the first games of FIFA 22 that I was playing at the same time as doing the Lukaku review you got to remember I'm still trying to get used to the game here but at the same time he was very much just a provider for those players like Lukaku for Ismaili Saar for Bruno Fernandes so I was never really in a position to kind of have chances on goal with him as nice as that would have been he was just very much being a very very good effective provider coming with the three assists in those five games he's got 83 short passing 82 vision which is very very good for this stage of the game his crosses were very good he linked up well in particular with that Lukaku card very very well um so so the three assists in the four games is a very very good return and obviously you know his pace 95 acceleration burst down that left hand side um he just carries so much pace that opposition fullbacks really and obviously center backs as well if he if he's able to cut in just really struggle to be able to keep up with him and obviously He's fantastic when it comes to dribbling, the 94 uh, agility, the 93 balance, again, just goes, you know, dribbling for having insane dribbling and pace for a winger is just so key in this game, as as, as I'm sure everyone kind of knows from, from previous games, it's once again going to be another major factor in this game and having um, and, and being able to do well as have very, very good pacey wingers and he certainly kind of fits that criteria. Uh, I thought he was weak, but you have to expect that with the selling cards, uh, you know, if he's going to come up against like a Van Dijk or against uh, a Varane, he will get bullied on, on occasions, but other occasions he'll be able to mug them off because he's got fantastic pace and, and, and dribbling as well. So it's a card that you go into it with, yes, his dribbling, his pace, his passing can be very good, but obviously maybe putting a, a, a camera to try and build up some of his physicality uh, might be something that, that is good to do. So an overall rating, 8 out of 10, value for coins at 7 out of 10 as well. Good card to be able to use. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, be, I'll, I'll have a review later on tonight as well with the 88 rated Bruno Fernandes. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.